Today I'm gonna talk to former Olympic athlete and Olympic second in rowing in the Olympic Games in 1984 in Los Angeles. His name is Stekel Phil and he will talk about his Albeck disease on his knee. He tells us what symptoms he had, how he tried to get the symptoms away conservatively and how finally a surgery with the allograft screw called shark screw helped him to be healed again. So let's start. Phil, I am very honored to have you here today as a guest. Tell us what uh, were your symptoms and how was your disease diagnosed? First of all, let me thank you, Thomas, for, for having, you know, listening to me because I think it's a great story. I'm going to say right off the bat that I am so grateful for Dr. Postel's intervention in this matter because it, it was pretty serious. Activity is really important to me and the use of the knees is really important to me. I use my body a lot, okay, so I'm very active. I'm, as you said, I've got a history of rowing. I'm still rowing and I'm still competing. And I wanna keep that going as long as possible. But it gets harder because the body does wear down, okay? It's just like anything else that you use a lot. So my injuries are often a function of overuse and things just wearing down, okay, too much. And that was the case, certainly in a prior intervention, okay, with Dr. Postel, where I tore a meniscus with this right knee, and he did a fabulous job. But that was a you know, fairly minor repair, okay? A couple of years later, I'm actually having more pain, and it's deep pain, okay? And it's something that basically is preventing me from doing the things that are important to me, biking, rowing, running, walking, Okay, it, things that really were really important to me. And so having had this great history with Dr. Postel, I came to him because it was pain that was preventing me from doing anything really important. And he diagnosed it with an MRI. It was very quick diagnosis. And basically there was fluid buildup and there needed to be more circulation in that region under the platella. And so that was basically the, the course of action. And he said, look, you know, we could let this go for a few more weeks or months to see whether it improves on its own. However, there's a risk actually that it gets worse. And if it gets worse, then it's harder to repair. And you know, when I heard that, I think if I, if I hadn't had confidence in him, so much confidence in him, I would have maybe taken up that proposal to, to wait a little bit. But because I knew him, I knew his work, I said, let's, you know, let's just do it. Let's do it. You and your surgeon, you decided that you were going to be treated with a shark screw, with a shark screw allograft. Was there a, another possible way to, to treat your disease? Well, I think beyond the issue of time and just seeing if it would heal on its own, of course, I did explore just surfacely, I, I did explore the issue of a, of a replacement, but he, he said that's, we're not talking about something so severe. So really, I trusted him to really lead me down the right path. And of course, I'm not an expert in this. I only know what I feel. So I really leaned on him to give me guidance. And because we had a good experience in the first intervention, I said, you know, this is, this is the guy for me and this is the option for me. So it was clear for you to do the first option to take the shark school allograft and not to do a total um, knee replacement? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a ser that's serious business yeah. and requires a huge commitment. And of course, a more conservative approach is the right way to go. You first you try something that's less invasive, right? And then, and then you go from there. Now, if you, if you ask me, is a knee replacement in your future? You know, I'm old enough to be your grandpa probably. And, and I hope to keep going. And if a replacement means that I can keep going with the activities that are important to me, well, let's do it. And I know the guy is gonna do it for me. You know, that's, so that's key. So I know the guy, he better not retire, right? So I know the guy that's got the expertise to do this and uh, we'll go down that path when it's, if and when it's necessary. So how was your, your healing process um, after surgery, um, surgery with the shock screw? It took a little bit of time. So for instance, it was a longer recovery 
relative to the to the meniscus repair, which was like right away, I kind of like three days later, I'm kind of back to normal. So this was, I remember asking him, because I had, I did have an event. I had a race a month after the surgery. And I asked, is that possible? And he's going, well, you know, it's, you're going to have some swelling. So anyway, the bottom line is I did come back to kind of sort of semi-normal training about two weeks after surgery. And just as he predicted, because he was saying that's a little too soon, he said, you're going to see some swelling and some minor discomfort. And he was right about that. But so I let up a little bit. So I started two weeks after surgery and then I kind of had to retract a little bit. And then I started up again, maybe three, four weeks after with normal training. And it worked. Basically, you know, it was a little bit puffy sometimes after, you know, activities. And what were we talking about? So I wasn't running, okay? So I was rowing, which is, I don't know if you know anything about rowing. Yeah. It's, it's a, basically it's not a, it's not a traumatic impact with the knee. It's, it's a, it's a, it involves a lot of pressure, but it's not pounding like running, mm -hmm. yeah. okay? And, and I was doing some bicycling also, not traumatic, right? It's kind of an easy activity motion. So I was doing those two things and every week it got better and better and better. And it was clear, really, even after two weeks, it was clear that the surgery was a success, you know, that basically things were working. Okay. How do you feel today? Can you row again? Are you back to sports? Is it you possible? Bet. You bet. Oh yeah, I'm doing everything. Don't tell Dr. Possa, but I'm running, you know, I'm, I, I mean, not, not, you know, uphill running, which is a little bit easier on the knees, but I'm, you know, I'm swimming, rowing, biking. That's how I got here for this interview. I'm biking, rowing, obviously. And it's, it's fabulous. It's just, it's really nice to have that back. You know, it's, it's such a, you know, two good knees is, it's almost as important as two good eyes. Yeah. I mean, you really, you need that if you want to get around and get and be interactive in the world and you want to inject yourself into the world. You need those joints. <laughs> you need those joints. And I got them. I got them back. I'm very glad that you're um, that happy again. Phil, thank you very much for your time welcome, and for talking about your, um, your, your, your story. If you liked the video, feel free to hit the like button or watch more videos on our channel. See you next time. Thank you.